preventing infection at Cottage is something that cuts across every employee's day-to-day -day work within the health system, ranging from administration to facilities personnel to those that help prepare the meals to physicians to nursing to technicians. But within the Infection Prevention and Control Department, they're really a focus of five main areas uh, for infection prevention. The first is what I like to call the tried and true, things like emphasizing hand washing that is extremely critically important in preventing infections and protecting our patients. We track that, we monitor that, uh, we give feedback uh, to those that are may not doing that correctly, and so on and so forth. Also amongst the tried and true things, we optimize dosing of antibiotics in the operating room and emphasize redosing at the time of surgery to prevent infections from flaring at the time of surgery. The second thing we're doing to prevent infections in our patients at Cottage Health is reducing antibiotic use in general. It sounds odd, but antibiotics cause C. difficile colitis. C. difficile colitis is the number one healthcare associated infection in the United States. C. diff is a bowel infection that develops as a result of antibiotic use. We have a program at Cottage of antibiotic stewardship which is become successful at reducing and improving our antibiotic prescriptions at Cottage and thereby reducing the risk of C. diff in our patients. The third thing is we are vaccinating. We're vaccinating our staff against influenza. We have nearly 100% vaccine coverage for influenza and that protects our patients. It's shown to reduce patient death and patient illness from influenza in the hospital setting. Also, we're vaccinating our patients. We're promoting use of influenza and pneumococcal vaccines, which are critically important, as particularly as we head into the respiratory infection in the season in the wintertime. The next thing we're doing uh, is that we are using the latest technologies and research that we're applying to infection prevention and control. A prime example of that is the Xenex robots, which we use to add another layer of protection for our patients whose rooms are then cleaned by the UV light emitted by these robots. The robots emit extremely high intensity UV radiation that kills all the germs left behind after a room could, is cleaned. And the last thing we're doing is that we have a program within Cottage and also that we're reaching out into the community of screening our patients to see if they carry staph bacteria prior to surgery. If patients are carriers of staph aureus bacteria, we then can give them medicines that they use in their nose and on their skin for five days before surgery that reduces the amount of staph bacteria on the skin and reduces their risk of a surgical site infection by about two-thirds. So this is just scratches the surface, but if we're looking at five main areas of emphasis, that's what we have.